All right, what is going on guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about generating leads using your direct seller's marketing system. So here's what I'll say. Number one, be sure to focus on using that app to start reaching out to people in your phone contacts, Instagram followers. I mean, anyone that you guys are connected with, be sure to use that app. Um, because while you're doing that, that's action you can take immediately. I mean, right now you can send out five text messages and stay consistent with it every single day. That's gonna create immediate momentum. You might not necessarily wanna do it, but that's what you have to do to build the business. No success came easy, so put in the grind and the work to make it happen, right? That's number one. Number two, I wanna talk now about what you guys can do in the online sphere, as far as social media goes, to generate some interest about direct sellers, to get people asking about what it is that you do, um, how to reach out to people you know, through Facebook Messenger and not sound like you're just trying to sell them on stuff. And it's all gonna come down to what we like to call attraction marketing. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I would do if I were you to go build this business and what I've done in the past that's worked for me with the companies that I've built. So in your marketing system right here, when you go over to my marketing pages and you go to lead capture, by the way, if you have any trouble logging in, just go to mywinefunnel.com, clicking member login, and you'll be able to log in. So here you are here, here's your lead capture pages. Remember, these here are pages that you're gonna, you're gonna push through your app. Now you know that because look at how small they are. They're designed to look good on mobile, okay? So don't worry about these, but these pages here, this one, here's a webinar funnel. Here's a cool little interactive funnel designed to help you guys recruit more reps. These pages and everything below here are all used and work well for Facebook ads, for posting on social media, for putting in your Instagram bio, et cetera. So what I'm gonna do is jump over to here real quick, and we're gonna go through this document. This is kind of like our little uh, guideline for today. So overview of the system, designed to help you guys tell the direct seller story and show people the value of it to the point where they wanna become a customer or a distributor. And in most cases, a customer first, they love the service, they then share it, they then become a distributor or a direct seller. So your goal is to see, simply peak interest and then point to a resource. I'm gonna show you how to do that using social media. Um, and then we're gonna go through it. So here's the deal, how do you peak interest? Well, you can use online marketing, you can put posts out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, et cetera, just enough to get people curious to know what you're talking about or what you're doing. And then you hit them with a link or you guide them into one of these links, for example. Other ways of driving traffic, you could buy leads, you can generate your own leads with paid traffic. You can run Facebook ads. There is a link below if you're on the mywinefunnel.com slash learn page. There is a button you can click to go ahead and get started and learn Facebook ads. We will teach you that. Um, and if you know how already, great. You can do Google ads, display ads, YouTube ads. I mean, guys, there's a thousand different ways to generate traffic. Uh, some of the ones that I love, though, are the organic free strategies I'm going to teach you printing out business cards, handing those out like hotcakes and leaving them at places like gyms and things like that, that allow you to do that. All that kind of stuff. I've recruited people through doing that, by the way. So anyways, let me now jump into some of the online marketing stuff. And by the way, I do apologize for being a little stuffy. Um, so here is the deal. Here's what you want to focus on. Facebook. We all are familiar with this right here, the news feed, right? And you've probably seen some people who just kill it with likes and comments and engagement. And you're like, man, I wanna be like them. And you guys can be like them, you just gotta know what to do and you gotta be consistent with it, all right? And you gotta get better and work on your craft over time. It's not an immediate thing. Uh, here's a perfect example. This is actually a lady that I know, Amina. She's with another company. But these are the kind of pictures, guys, that work on social media to make people stop scrolling through their news feed. Here's what I'll tell you. What do you guys usually do when you fire your phone up and you click on Facebook? You just start scrolling. Same thing with Instagram. People are used to scrolling at a very fast pace. So if you guys wanna get people's attention on your Facebook post, you have to put a scroll stopper, is what I like to call it out there. So selfies, this is actually a perfect example right here by Ann. Selfies and things like that. Pictures of your family, pictures of your why. Um, picture of you working on your computer, picture of you with a selfie, and you've probably done this before, holding a glass of wine. All those kind of things will make people stop and be like, you know, what is this person doing? Because when you stop someone with an image, 
you then have the ability or the potential for them to actually read what it is that you're writing in your post. That's where we're gonna get crafty and creative and I'm gonna show you guys what you can put out there. So hopefully that makes sense. And if you're sitting there saying, this guy talks way too fast, which I have heard that before and I do apologize, I just get excited. Pause, go back and rewatch. Because guys, it's so important to understand that you know, like a motivational quote or like a picture of your business, you know, or like a link, it's just not gonna work to make people stop and you know, stop scrolling and look at it. You have to get stuff out there that's gonna make people stop. You gotta be creative with it. And I'm gonna guide you on that. So just hang with me for a second, but really understand that. So here's what I'll tell you. Um, and by the way, you want people to stop and like and comment, why? Because likes and comments equal leads. See, here's the deal. When someone likes or comments on your stuff, you have a reason to then reach out to them, okay? When you reach out to someone randomly, they're like, yeah, here comes the sales pitch, but the dynamic shifts a little bit if someone interacts with what you put out there. So if you put something out and they comment, of course you have a reason to now reach out to them. And I'm gonna show you exactly what you can say. Even if they like it, you know, the post, you still have a much better reason to reach out than if they didn't, okay? That's why it's very important to put stuff out there that makes people do this. Because likes and comments, they equal leads. High engagement posts, like I was talking about before. People love to see on their timeline, love, family, lifestyle, viral posts, polls, like chocolate or vanilla ice cream, red or white wine. And you guys have seen posts like that. I'm gonna show you some in just a second, all right? Um, pictures that make people stop and they're like, what is this person doing? Here's an example. Go get your spouse or son or daughter or cousin or friend or whoever to get a picture of you in front of your computer with a glass of wine and maybe your, you know, your direct sellers uh, pages behind it and have, you know, have a smile like this to the camera with your glass of wine. And you could say something like, I never thought I'd get involved in the wine business, but man, do I love it. Um, you know, and put a post up like that. People are going to be like, what, you know, what do you mean wine business? What is that? You put a post up like that, it might get people to like, comment, and ask you what's going on. Remember, you then have a reason to reach out to them. So that's just an, a sample. By the way, if you wanna do that, pause this video now, go get that picture taken, um, and put it out there. So there's, there's an example of that, all right? Uh, I, all, I always like the idea, too, of asking questions. Like, these are really cool. If we do something like this, red or white wine. You can do something like that, post it, and then people start commenting. Guys, people are telling you what kind of wine they like. <laughs> That's a pretty good person to reach out to about direct sellers, wouldn't you say? When they comment, you then can start reaching out to them and saying something, and I'll, I'll show you what you can do in just a second, but these polls work well. Who's a wine drinker? How often do you enjoy a glass of wine? All these kind of things, these are just simple examples, but guys, those pull engagement, um, and it's based on uh, or, it's, or it's leading back to direct sellers, obviously. So all those work really well too. A couple other ones, get a picture of your family, all right? And put a post up, maybe that says something like this. So imagine I put up a picture up of me and my family. Yeah, let me just, let me just get rid of this here. So maybe your family, which for most people, it is part of their why, or it is the main piece of their why, right? So you put a picture up of your family and you say something like, these people right here are all the motivation I need to keep on building my side hustle. You know, something like that. And then you put a picture of your family. People might be like, wait, what side hustle? You know, and then they message you or they comment or they like or they give you a little, you know, a little heart love, you know, love instead of a like. What I'm saying, guys, is that's the kind of stuff you want to focus on posting and being consistent with it. Not these spammy links, not, you know, just throwing up, hey, check out my business. Hey, who wants to get paid? Like, guys, the stuff just isn't as good as what you could be posting, and this is the kind of stuff that you want to work. Let me go ahead and dive into these blog articles. These are brilliant. Actually, one of, the, uh, one of our account execs, Eliza, she came up with this idea and it's, it's brilliant because a lot of you guys want to post about direct sellers specifically online, but posting just a capture page, it's not the right thing to do. People love going on social media to look at blog articles, read viral blog articles, to debate with people back and forth, et cetera. 
So we've actually written professionally done blog articles for you guys to go ahead and share. So this is a really cool one. Let me go down to this one here. This is cool. Best wine puns and jokes for your next wine night. The most expensive bottle of wine ever sold. You know, you could grab your link here and put something up and say something like, this is crazy. Who would pay this amount for a bottle of wine? And then you go ahead and put this link here. By the way, I would not ever use a preview like this. Go get a picture of you maybe going like this, you know, a shocked face or something like that and put that there. Why? It's a scroll stopper. People will scroll and they'll stop because you're like, and they want to know what it is. And then all of a sudden they read and then boom, they click on this link. Watch what happens. Someone clicks on your link. They're right here. They're reading this article. But look at what we dribble in here. New wine company pays people to share. Interesting. They click it. It then leads out to one of your funnels. See how that works? So anyways, guys, um, really powerful. These blogs work. There's a ton in there for you, and we're always adding more. That's the kind of stuff that you want to post on social media. Okay? Let me go back over here. <clears throat> and as people are liking and commenting, you then have a reason to reach out. So let's dive into this real quick. When someone, hypothetically speaking, comments on this, right, I could then reach out and say it's someone I haven't talked to in a long while. I say, you know, hey, uh, Jen, say it was my friend Jen. Hey, Jen, I appreciate you showing some love in my most recent post. We haven't talked in forever. How you been? Anyone that likes or comments on your stuff, you guys can hit them with a line like this. It's a great opener. And then at that point, you guys are just talking back and forth. And what I would say is this. You know, don't beat around the bush too much, but also don't go right in for the kill. It's kind of like when you go on a date with someone, you probably are not going to ask them to marry you on the first date. Get to know them a little bit, build the relationship. But at the same time, don't go, so what do you, you know, what, you know, um, how's your life? How are the kids? Like, don't ask stuff that you wouldn't ask. Just be normal here, right? So when they say, you know, yeah, sure, no problem, blah, blah, blah. You might want to say, so, hey, you know, we haven't talked in forever. What's been going on? Where are you working? You know, how's the family? Something like that that's simple for someone that you kind of know. Ask them questions that you want them to ask you back. This is very important. If you guys ever want someone to ask you what you do, ask them what they do. Because usually they reciprocate the question, right? And sometimes they don't, but most, most often they do. So if you ask someone what they do and they say, oh, I'm, you know, working at XYZ shop or, you know, whatever the case may be, just say, oh, that's awesome. They'll probably say, what about you? You might want to hit them with a line like this. Well, I'm working full time at XYZ company and part time I am building a wine business. Leave it at that. They're like, wine business? You know, what do you mean? Oh, well, it's actually a company that allows me to share wine from all over the world with people and set them up with a subscription pack. So every month, um, we actually deliver wine directly to your doorstep. It's pretty cool. Stop there. Wow, that's interesting. If they show interest, just say, yeah, I mean, I could send you. We have a 90-second video that explains it all. Is that something you'd want to take a look at? I mean, I'd love to get your feedback. Yeah, sure. At that point, grab their phone number, right? And then send them a trackable link via your app. Or at that point, you can send them some information directly through Facebook and whatnot, et cetera. But that's what you can start to do to turn that corner and get people interested. Guys, you do this consistently, you know, once, twice a day, every day, and dribble some motivational quotes in there. I mean, you don't want to slam your timeline with selfies, but, you know, stay consistent with that three, four times a week, get some motivational stuff in there, shoot some videos, do some Facebook Lives, all that stuff as you outgo. Here's the general rule. Let me back up. The more outgoing content you have outgoing, the more incoming activity you're going to receive. So it's very important that you guys do that and stay consistent with it. So anyways, hopefully that gives you some guidance um, on how to use that. These pages here, these capture pages and whatnot, these are ones that you can absolutely start you know, uh, pushing, into pushing to people, obviously as you're talking to them, et cetera. A lot of these are, you know, work really well too with business cards and also with, um, and also with pay traffic. So underneath this video, there's probably a button to go learn Facebook ads. So these are other funnels that you guys can use. So anyways, use them as you, as you please and as you see fit. Work on these strategies. 
and you guys will be good to go. So with that being said, we'll see you in the next video where we'll talk about actually some, uh, some Facebook ads and stuff. And it might not be a video, it might be a button you click that will lead you to video. So appreciate y'all. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.